So I've reviewed a lot of Corvettes in the past, but previously, everywhere I had went, I had been unable to actually drive one. And so while I was always extremely grateful to have even been in the presence of such an epic car, I had always left the review with that itch to really find out what that 6.2 liter V8 was capable of. And so today, courtesy of Sutliff Chevrolet in Harrisburg, PA, I was going to do just that. And what made this even better was I had brought a friend along for the ride. What's up you guys, Gold Pony here today in the 2016 Corvette Stingray with Mike from Street Speed 717. And if you guys haven't checked out his channel yet, definitely you should do that because he is 21 and he drives daily a Stingray Corvette and it doesn't get much sweeter than that. Here we go, holy cow. Oh yes. Anyways, I'm subscribed and you guys should too. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so first question I know you guys are gonna ask is how's the visibility and I honestly don't think it's that bad. I've been in a lot worse cars for visibility. So as far as the Corvette goes, it, it isn't that bad. I like it, do you like it? Visibility's great, except for when you have a giant window sticker right in front of your windshield and you can't see anything. This is so true. How's it feel being on the other side? I feel, I've never actually <laughs> ridden in the passenger seat of my Corvette. Oh no, I did once when someone else drove my car, but uh, no, it feels good. It's different here because you've got this thing that blocks off you from the driver area, but I like that. It kind of keeps the driver area separate and, uh, you know, comfortable. Nice to drive around in. Nice to ride. I like how it's all tilted towards the driver. It makes me feel like I'm in control. Oh, I love that. I love the ergonomics of that. All right, but as far as what's new, you guys, for 2016, first thing I'm going to say is the flat bottom steering wheel. And if you are driving a manual, which we are not today, we have the eight-speed automatic, but if you were driving a manual, it gives you a little more room for heel-toe action, which is always good. And second thing that is new for 2016 is you do have the option to eliminate the chrome front bar. So if you're not a fan of chrome, and it still looks good, don't get me wrong, but uh, if it were me, I'd probably eliminate it, but that's just my preference. Uh, another thing, there's of course a million different options, a million different packages as far as interior colors go. So you have a bunch of different choices for 2016, but that, that just happens every year, I think, but still pretty cool. But anyways, you guys, this car has 455 horsepower, 460 pound-feet of torque, and it will go zero to 60 in 3.7 seconds, which is insanely fast. Am I right? It's pretty fast. Yeah, well, you're used to it now. Yeah, no, you, after a while, it feel, I mean, it always feels quick, though. It's always fun. It's never a dull moment, though, that's for sure. And if you eliminate the exhaust, it gets even louder, <laughs> right? Yeah, when you dump your exhaust underneath the, uh, like, right behind your seats, it is quite loud in the, in the passenger area, but... Uh... I'm sorry, I had to. <laughs> it's pretty good. No, it's fast. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do a little switch up now. Uh, we're gonna pull into a neighborhood. I'm gonna let Mike drive on the way back here. And he's gonna get to have some fun. And he's gonna get to see if he can find his way back because right now we're in some dicky neighborhood no in Harrisburg. Man, when the 8-speed automatic is working properly, it feels really smooth. So yes, this car was definitely as fast as what I thought it would be, but what's even better was that this amount of speed came at a price starting at only $55,400. And just in case you didn't quite hear what that speed sounded like on the test drive, listen to this. <laughs> Even if you removed that intense speed and the amazing sound from the Corvette equation, it still had its stunning looks that originally draws us all in anyways. Whether it be the HID headlights or the ride setup that includes 18 inch aluminum wheels in the front and 19 inches in the back, in the end it all comes together perfectly to form such an aggressive stance that even a Prius driver would do a double take. Then onto the inside, the aggression continued with the adrenaline red GT bucket seats, which I have to say is an awesome color contrast for this black exterior that we had today. But like I previously mentioned, for 
for 2016, there was also the new flat bottom steering wheel that now every Corvette will come standard with. And after hitting the push button start, I watched as the gauge needles came along, but directly below the tachometer is where I set my focus next. Because when I hit drive, I want to have fun. And so directly behind the shifter, I found the mode select knob. And so as I was toggling through the five different driving modes, in the end, I went with sport because today we weren't on the track and I never have any interest in driving economically. But while I was checking out the rest of the car, like the awesome nine speaker Bose sound system and the dual zone climate control, what I'm really a huge fan of on the C7s are the hidden compartments. Like for instance, behind the eight inch colored touchscreen was a ton of storage space for when you're not using the nav system or displaying the audio settings. And then in the back, while not sacrificing any of the 15 cubic feet of trunk space, there's also the perfect space to safely conceal your handgun on the way to the shooting range. But while we're on safety, all trims on the 2016 Stingray will come with a rear view camera, driver and passenger frontal and side impact airbags, traction control, and active handling stability control. And so if you're not convinced yet, keep in mind that the Corvette was named after a small warship known for its fast attacks, which should explain a lot in terms of the power this thing has, along with its aggressive looks. But also there's the fact that this car's name has lived on since its beginnings in 1953. And there's good reason for that, whether it be my dad getting the front two tires off the ground when he was a kid, or Mike and I hitting 60 in less than four seconds today. The Stingray Corvette is fun. And with 2016, the legend continues. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like the video and subscribe. Also subscribe to Street Speed 717. Information is gonna be in the info bubble on the screen or the description box below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay gold. I just slam. I just slam the brake pedal down, looking for the clutch. I have. No, I have literally no idea where we are. Did the, oh my gosh! I can't talk. <laughs> so sorry. Hit the camera with my hand there. I should restart that whole damn segment. I screwed up. <laughs> he has the whole thing on camera. That'll be fine. It's all be outtakes.